Hello guys. Uh, I want to respond to this guy. I don't know who's he, by the way. Uh, but he is saying in his YouTube video that Christians they are full of lies and hate, and he is saying that because Christian they are saying lies about Islam that Islam allowed sex with children, and this is a very bad lie. And he's saying they are getting this from Christian websites. Let us hear his voice before I respond to him. Poor guy. I see you as a, a kind of a sane voice in the Christian community. So I'm going to direct my concerns to you. What I've noticed is that there are a number of Christians, on even on YouTube and over internet sites, that kind of lie about Islam and they spread these lies, okay? And there are a number of evangelical Christian websites that... Uh, are the purveyors of these lies, and the latest, the latest lie to be unearthed is that Islam allows child rape and uh, sighing of young girls or something ridiculous like that. Obviously, that's just untrue, and that's just a lie from the Christian evangelical cr websites. And I've got okay. So this is from a Christian website. Come on, guys, Christians, stop lying, stop lying. You know what? I don't know what's your name. I don't care. I will show you from your Islamic website. Me, you know, me personally, I never use a Christian website, and I promise you, I will never use one to prove that Islam is a lie, and Islam is filthy. This is your official government website of Saudi Arabia. In the top, you will see the address, hadithalislam.com. Okay, and just to show you, if you go to the main page, this page in Arabic. In case you don't speak Arabic, mostly you don't. Uh, because 99 percent of Muslims maybe don't know don't speak Arabic you know only a few hundred millions uh, this is the English page and here I will show you that this is an official government website of Saudi Arabia so you will then uh, you will not uh, say to me you know what you are lying to me uh, you are uh, making things up okay so as you see it says Kingdom of Saudi Arabia Ministry of Islamic Affairs and in here you can go even and reserve for Hajj if you want if you want to go to Hajj you want to ask for a visa you know for me myself I do not need a visa to go to Saudi Arabia but maybe you, do, you need one uh, if you are an American you need one okay so in here you see that's telling you about Hajj how to do Hajj how to ask uh, 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 for a visa etc what you need to do, obligation, you see all the information you want. This is an official government website, not my website. Now, let us go back to the hadith. Now, this is from the same website I showed you, Mr. Whoever your name. It says that the Prophet, he did marry her at the age of six years old. Now you know for me, I really I don't uh, read a hadith in uh, in English, but because you don't speak English uh, Arabic, so you know I said let me let me look if I can find a hadith in here uh, talking about that. But uh, uh, you know this is those are hadith, and in here you will see that she was plain. You know she was plain with her swing, and she was plain with her friends. And she called her. She said to him. She said to her, you know, come over. And she was, you know, she was sweating because she was playing in the swing. You know, she was just a little kid. So he did marry her at the age of six. And according to your translation, by the way, I admitted to his house at the age of nine. So according to Muslims, your prophet he did marry Aisha at the age of six. And I can show you a fatwa. It says that between the six, the year of six and the year of nine, which means three years period, he used your prophet used to put his penis between her legs, and do masturbation. So, and if we go with the age of nine, you know, you say the Christians saying lies about raping children. Is that a rape? What do you think? Having sex, fifty-seven years old, when he did marry Aisha at the age of six, she was she was fifty-four. When he he have sex with her according to Muslim books, she was nine. Intercourse. When I say sex, I'm talking about intercourse. Before that, he was just molesting her. Okay. So when he have intercourse, she was nine. You say the Christians they do lie about things, you know, in Islam like child rape 
and child uh, 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 having sex with children. Now, I want you to tell me, is nine years old in Islam is children, or this is an adult, a mature age? If the little girl, she is nine, and do you want you have sex with her? Even if her parents agree that you can have sex with her, do you consider this as a marriage or a rape? What is rape for you, mister? Rape is when somebody don't get the permission from that person to have sex with. And can be against, by the way, a woman maybe she can rape a man. Because if she did do have sex with him against his will, like maybe she made him asleep, she made him whatever, you know, this is a rape. So rape is something you do against the other person will. Now, a little child like this, Aisha, she was nine years old. It's, it was her will to have sex? Or this is a rape? And by the way, I can show you tons of those hadith about Aisha having sex. Now those, all of them, they are a hadith talking about your prophet having sex with kids. You see them? In the same official page of Saudi Arabia Sunan ibn Majah the book of Nukah it's called the, the, the book name Nukah al sughar which mean uh, or sorry the book name it's the F word Nukah which mean the F word to, uh, to whatever you do Muslims they say the word Nukah mean marriage by the way but it does not mean marriage why? because the prophet of Islam he said which mean God curse the one who do Nukah to his hand and you know what I'm talking about, right? Nukah to your hand, it's mean you do masturbation because nobody will marry his hand. So if the word mukah means marriage, <laughs> your prophet will never say, God curse the one who marry his hand because nobody marry his hand. Your hand is not your wife. Anyway, so all those hadith, Mr. Whoever your name, is saying the following, that your prophet have sex with your uh, uh, mother of the believer, Aisha, when she was... Uh, nine years old as an intercourse and before that he was molesting her she was six years old when he did marry her this is hadith number 4738 the book of Sahih Bukhari the book of an nukah the F word book is saying the following the prophet he did marry me I was six years old and he did full intercourse when I was nine and I left I did leave with him or live with him nine years so she lived with him nine years he have intercourse when she was nine years and she did marry him at the age of six and you are telling me the Christians saying lies about you Muslims you know and the Quran says clearly that there is a surah in that divorce surah it says that a Muslim who want to divorce a young women who never have their period do you know why they are they never have their period because they are young so young because they are children now just to make it short for you this is the explanation of the Quran this is Al-Qurtubi and this is Surah uh, uh, 65 verse number 4 as you see and the explanation saying that the one who do not have courses yet because what? because she is still so young I'm not the one explaining this is your explanation Muslim explanation those who never have courses period he mean those are who they are young young so young you know and why uh, why a girl she would never have courses yet because she is so young what's what does that mean so if you divorce in the women before even she have courses imagine at what age you did marry her this is the age this is the time of divorce now <laughs> I'm laughing because it's sad actually but you know but it's it's really disgusting, you know. And, and uh, if you if you think about it, and this is the translation of Islamic Islamic translation, not mine. Again, again, this is Surah 65, divorce Surah, verse number four. Okay. And those and for those who have no courses, who are they? Those who have no courses, I showed you the explanation. Those are who they are very young, extremely young. You are divorcing them. The Quran insists that you have to wait for a three period of time. You know, to be sure that they are not pregnant before they can get married again. Now, those young girls who they never have courses, never have courses, you are divorcing them, which means you are marrying them and divorcing them even before they have courses, before they have period. Is that telling you something? It means you are having sex with your children, sir. 
Correct? So, I showed you the hadith. I showed you all the proofs from your books. This is the hadith. It's full of it. Bukhari, Muslim, and Nisa'i, all the books you want. Huh? All of them, Sahih, Muslim, whatever you book you want. All of them say, are saying the same. Look how many hadith. All of them saying your prophet have sex with children. So don't say the Christians do lie when they are, they are talking about having sex with kids in Islam is approved. It's your religion. It's a fact. Thank you very much. Next time, don't get, don't, don't get upset. Go and search your religion and be honest.